Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see you. Sister Lorraine, I see you. Minister Jolene, I see you. Sister Keisha, welcome. God bless you. Go ahead and share as you join. Hallelujah. Head and share as you join. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you join, go ahead and share. Mr. Jolene, you're going to be on Facebook. I want you to know. I'm using my phone, so you don't have to worry. Somebody go ahead and share this message. Hallelujah. Let us pray. pray as you join be in prayer mode glory to God father we thank you we bless you we worship you and adore you have your way oh God and let your will be done as we are here one more time we ask you heavenly father to reign on us Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this room. Let your will be done. We welcome you, O oh God. Anoint the lips of the people that you will use this hour. Fall afresh upon them. Let your spirit fall afresh. We decree and we declare it done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Even now, Lord, I cover myself in your blood. Let your will be done. Let your will be done this hour on this platform. As the Holy Spirit take over, let your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus, Sister Lorraine. Sister Lorraine, I'm going to invite you 
so you can come and bless us with a song click on that link that green button sister Lorraine hallelujah yes click on that green button on Facebook Hallelujah. Good evening. Welcome. If you're just joining, I invite you to share. Share. Hallelujah. Good evening and welcome. Welcome. Glory to God. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. It's my first time seeing you since the beginning of the year. And today mm -hmm. is the first day of the second month. Amen. Welcome. Bless us with whatever the Lord has laid on your heart. Glory to God. I'm ready. Go ahead. We're waiting on you. Bless the name of Jesus. Let me see if I can turn this up. You hear okay, it's all the way. Yes. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, what a Jesus. It is well. Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
Jesus, it is well. It is well. Whatever the situation is, it is well. Whatever you're going through, it is well. Whatever the enemy is trying to put you through, it is well. It's the first day of the new month, but I came to let you know it is well. May the Lord bless you as you continue to stay in the word as you continue to trust him as you continue to believe in him believe and you shall receive Amen. whatever your desire of the lord you have to believe there are some things that you have to begin to believe and watch god move in your life Amen. i declare Amen. over your life that whatever it is it will be well with your soul in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your testimony will come because it is well. Your testimony will come because it is well. Your testimony will come because it is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you because it is well. Oh God, we thank you. It is well. Glory to God. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the Bible study and we will see you later. Bye-bye. My God. We thank God because it is well. It is well. And we give him thanks. We give him praise. It is well. The Bible declare, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. It also reminds us that in his presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. It is well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm not going to hold you up. Our guest speaker is here. Our very own Minister Julene Sewell. Lord has placed something on her heart and she's here to deliver. So get your pen, get your paper. She has studied to show herself approved unto God, not unto me, unto God. And the Lord said it is time for her to do this. So get your pen, get your paper and let us hear what the Lord has placed in her. I myself don't even know. I'm ready to write. I have my pen and I have my paper she is ready. May the Lord, Minister Julian, welcome. May the Lord speak to you as you humble yourself. Amen, Pastor. You have shown your humility even before you make it here. So I pray that it will be well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is well. Jesus. It is well with my soul. Hallelujah. Jesus. Mm. Hey. Glory to God. It is well. Amen. It is well. It is well. Glory. We just want to honor the Holy Spirit. We welcome him. We give him all the glory. We give him all the praises. We give everything over to the Holy Spirit because he's the head of our life. Amen. He's our Amen. everything. We Amen. can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. Nothing at all. We welcome his presence on Amen. this life right now. We welcome him in our hearts. We welcome him in our homes. We welcome him in everything that we do, in everything that we say. Because without the Holy Spirit, the choices that we make, they are no good. Amen. 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 It is indeed a pleasure to be here tonight to do Bible study. And I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't you ever to say God that. Be the glory. Amen. To God it is well. Be the glory. It, it is, is well. well. I am telling you. <laughs> it God is well. Sister Lorraine for that song. It Amen. is well. It is glory well. To God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 So, so, this evening Bible study is taken from the book of Isaiah. So we are still in the book of Isaiah. Amen. Because God is indeed speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, Isaiah was one of the, 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 the four major prophets. prophets. Amen. And Isaiah um wrote 66 i think books mm -hmm. and isaiah saw the future he saw um what was gonna happen back then he saw what was gonna happen now amen so isaiah the book of isaiah 55 amen and we're gonna read from verse 7 to 9 Amen. Amen. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 from 7 to 9. And it reads, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. The Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory be to God. Verse 8 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, mm -hmm. neither are your ways my ways, Amen. says the Lord. 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my Amen. thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. Hallelujah. Here ends a portion of the reading of God's holy word, and we honor it by saying amen. amen. So here in the book of Isaiah 55, verse 7, we see where God was calling back his people to repentance. So in verse 7, he said, let the wicked forsake his ways. So when God say, forsake your ways. He means turn away from it. Stop doing it. So he was telling the people, turn away from these evil ways. And the unrighteous man is thoughts. Amen. So our topic 
for tonight is the ways of God. Amen. Say that the again, ways, minister. The ways of God. Amen. The ways of God, they are pure thoughts. Jesus. The ways of God brings life. Amen. But the ways of man is evil. The ways of man is wicked. Hmm. So the Lord is saying, forsake your ways. And, you know, I did a little studying and the ways, when he was saying, return away from your wicked ways, mm -hmm. you know, turn away from your ways, forsake these ways. It, it was not nothing good. It was mm -hmm. pure evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was evil. Yes. So, you know, our thoughts is so corrupt. We think, before we think something positive, before we think something good, we always think something evil first. Yes. Because that's the ways of that's a man. man. But God, God, thoughts, they are different. Amen. And that's why he said, Saying that his thoughts and our thoughts are not the same. They, they could not be the mm -mm. same mm -mm. because mm -mm. God don't think evil. The mm -mm. only time God is gonna bring evil upon you is when you do not repent. Yes, and that's why, if you notice in the word, He always says, "Repent, mm -hmm. wash yourself, and come before Me, and then we can reason." Yes. Yes. So we. So oh, repentance, it's a no-no. Ah, you have Jesus. to repent. Mm. Repent is necessary. Repentance yes. is, is important. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. to repent. Hallelujah. And repentance is not something that we do once a year. Like back in the book, uh, in the days of the, the Old Testament, we know that um, the children of Israel... They used to do this once, one time for the year mm -hmm. where the mm -hmm. priest would go before the Lord and he would make mm -hmm. an atonement for their sins. Right. But we know in this modern day of living, we have to thank God for Jesus Christ. And his blood. We have to thank God for the shedding of the blood because if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, we would be one. here. Here. <laughs> and I today would have dead and gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To God be all it the glory, glory, honor, and the praise. Yes. We thank Him for His Son Jesus Christ that He yes. came and He died for us. He was yes. without sin. He never yes. sinned. Never. And mm. yet, still, He went on the cross and He died. For our sins. Mm. And he did not just die like that. He was mocked. Mm. He was spit upon. Ridiculed. He was beaten. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So much he had to encounter for you and I. To be here. So that we could be here today. Amen. So Amen. the word is telling us that. Let the wicked forsake mm -hmm. his ways yes. turn from your wicked ways yes turn from your mm. wicked thoughts mm. jesus put them under subjection yes and the only way you can do all these things is with the help of the holy spirit amen we cannot do anything on our own amen we cannot do anything by ourselves we need the holy spirit he is here to guide us, is here to lead us, is here to direct us. He is the spirit that will guide us in all truth. He did not say some truth enough. He said all. all truth. So we have to forsake our ways. And the unrighteous man is thoughts. 
and let him return unto the Lord. So first, you have to forsake the ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The unrighteous man, that is the wicked man, right? He has to turn away from the, the things that he has been doing, the thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. And then the Lord will have mercy. Amen. Mercy. Oh, Jesus. mercy. When you think of mercy, I am telling you, mercy, like I wrote this down. It says in the Bible, God's mercy means his pity, compassion, Amen. and kindness. Definition. Towards people. Definition. Jesus. His mercy shows up in the believer's life at salvation. Mm -hmm. And then God continues to show mercy in forgiveness. Amen. He says mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Yes. But refusing God's mercy is disastrous. Come on. Disastrous. Come on. No. So, oh my. So you Come see, on, no. when we do not repent and do not turn mm -hmm. and forsake the ways, mm -hmm. you see how we get ourselves in hot water with, with God? God. Because Come on no, now. Come no on now. mercy, mm -hmm. no blessings, mm -hmm. nothing. It's like everything just gets start go a wire. Amen. You have, it's like from the east, the west, the north, the south, everything so. begin to come in. Mm -hmm. Problem from mm -hmm. every side. Mm -hmm. Because what? Because of disobedience, we did not turn we did not forsake our ways so because of that now we have to get we get some lashing it is it's good it is a good thing when god chases us that is the next thing you know like um i remember one day i heard um i don't remember if it was a pastor was saying it and they were saying that um you know when god chase you god, god chase you because he loves you yeah and the person was like so if god is not chasing you you're in trouble and all right now i'm here to tell somebody tonight that is hebrews if god is not 12. chasing you you are in trouble Mm -hmm. If God is not chasing you, that means the devil is chasing you. The devil have you. Mm -hmm. And because the devil mm -hmm. have you, God don't want you either. Hey, come on. So, if you wake up tomorrow morning and you don't feel like the Holy Spirit are breathed on your neck, check yourself. Check yourself. So when God chases us, <laughs> it's not mm -hmm. a bad thing it's a good thing mm -hmm. if you ask me mm -hmm. it's a yes. good thing when god chase you yes that's if god is not chasing you that means say you're bound to hell mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. my brothers and sisters when god chases us it is a good thing as um as from tonight tell yourself when god chase me it's a good thing Amen. So God is not chasing you. You are in trouble. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If God is not chasing you, you are in trouble. So tonight, God, I'm saying, Holy Spirit, chase me. Hey, Jesus. Chase me, God. Hallelujah. Chase me. Mm, Jesus, eh, Baba Sheke, Rabba Sheke, and Darabas. Mm. Brothers and sisters, we need to tell the Holy Spirit to chase us. Yes. Chase us. The Bible tells us that God chastises those that He loves. Mm -hmm. When you think about David, David thought that he was untouchable. Mm -hmm. He thought that. 
God would never do nothing to him because he's a, ah, a man of, after God's own heart. So mm -hmm. he was thinking that, oh, God is not going to touch me. I can't mm -hmm. do anything. I am King David. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see what God let happen to him? That, that is to show you and I that we are not, we no exempt. Amen. So when you sin, you have to pay the price. Amen. You know, sometimes we do some things, Pastor, and because nothing not happen yet, or nothing not happen, your mm -hmm. things say, get, get away. Right? Yes. And say, me and God, me and God like this. All right. So, me and I feel my worry God. myself. All right. And when you think, when you least expect it, oh, here comes trouble. Yes. And uh, yes, I'm going to tell you, uh, while I was studying the other day, and this came up, and the Holy Spirit said, like a thief in the night. I say, hey, okay. like a thief in the, in the night. night. That's mm -hmm. when he, he's he comes. coming. Mm -hmm. So when you cannot, you thief, cannot know. You Sleep don't know you. because if you know, you're going to prepare yourself for it. Mm -hmm. And so unexpectedly, yes. Yes. he comes. Mm. And and rem yes, yes. and when you start getting beaten, that's when you remind you and say, "Oh, you remember this? This Amen. is why you're getting the beating." Amen. Amen. So no sin goes unpunished. Punish. And so God wants us to turn, mm -hmm. forsake our wicked ways. Amen. Turn from the evil deeds. Amen. Turn to Him. So that mercy will be granted unto us. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Glory be to God. And I have a cross, my cross reference scripture for um for this one. It is taken from Isaiah 59, verse 7. Isaiah 59, verse 7. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. And it reads. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Jesus. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. Their feet run to evil. Hmm. And they make haste to shed innocent blood. blood. Mm -hmm. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasting and destruction are in their path. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens when we do not forsake the ways and the thoughts. This is what happens. We run to shed innocent blood. Buried in sin. Buried. Very deep, can't mm -hmm. come out. Jesus, you ever see some people? You look at them, and they say they are children of God. They are a child of God, but child of God supposed to carry a light. <laughs> the Word of God tell us that God beautifies us. And I can testify. Amen. You see, when I was in sin, hmm. I used to have some black marks under my eyes. Oh, Jesus. And I documented that where I would see my face change and it would just, it would look a certain way. Wow. It's it's like it have like a deformed look. That is sin. Sin make us ugly. Sin <laughs> make you ugly. You know, sometimes <laughs> we hear some people say, oh, I'm so beautiful. But I'm telling you, they're just looking out of this eye. 
But you see, if they're looking appearance. out of the spiritual eye and they really appearance. see themselves, they wouldn't even look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. I am telling yep. you, sin makes you ugly. It's true. And they it say, true. I am a child of God and you know these people and they've been going to church all the years you know them. And you wonder, you say, why this person look like this? sin and they think that god cannot see them man cannot see them but god mm -hmm. sees everything nothing is nothing hidden is from him no past god is the infinite hidden. god hallelujah is the omnipotent god is mm -hmm. the omniscient god is everywhere the only present god is everywhere, He's everywhere at, at time. Every, like i was telling my daughters and i said to them i said did you know that God can be here and over there at the same time? And they, were like, they were amazed, like, what? Mm -hmm. I say, mm -hmm. Yes, that is the kind of God. Sometimes when I try to explain it, it's like they just look at me like, like crazy. Um, what is mom, mom saying? I said, You see how the earth is so big? I said, look at the heavens or high it is. From the earth. The sky is so big. And I said, God, all everything in the palm of his hand like this. Mm -hmm. And they are like, huh? I said, yes. I said, that's how big he Every is. Everything belong to him. <laughs> everything. And I love the book of Genesis. Jesus. I love the book of Genesis when he said, let us. I love to, 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 to say to my kids when I say, you know, God said, earth, come. And there was nothing there but earth does farm. And he mm -hmm. said, roll up sea and see if you roll up. Yes, sir. And earth, earth does come up. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, that's the only one true and living God. Nobody else cannot do that. Only Jesus. The one true and living God. Hallelujah. So, he's saying, turn from your wicked ways. Our ways are not good ways. Our mm -hmm. thoughts are not good thoughts. Hallelujah. The thoughts of God, they are so high. High above the heavens. Who can stretch and touch the heavens? Nobody. In a matter of all, Far you take the plane and the plane goes so high, still can't touch the heavens. Never. And there's, and the Bible says that the thought of God is that high. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. This, if you really, really if you think about this, it blew your mind. Amen. Amen. Because the heaven is so high and the thought of God is that high. So we know that when God think of anything, and not just right here, the thoughts of God is pure, but the thoughts of man is evil and corrupt. My mm. other reference scripture is also from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 1 Verse 16. Isaiah 1. I, chapter 1. Isaiah verse 1, 16. Verse 16, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. It says, wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Mm. Jesus. Cease to do evil. Mm. So you see, you cannot come before God without repenting. You mm -hmm. cannot come before God unless you put away all of that evil. It says cease from doing evil. Mm. Cease from doing evil. My God. 
He says, what you? And this is something that he has been telling the Israelites from in the book of um, when Moses in the from in the book of Exodus, the book of Leviticus, all the way back, he has been telling them. He said, wash. They have to wash themselves first. Then when they wash themselves, then they have to repent. Mm -hmm. Then they can come before him. But Amen. sometimes when I read the word, you know, I'm like, this tells me that you cannot go before God any any Amen. So, so sometimes it puzzles me, Pastor, when I see people going before God any or any way. Mm -hmm. It puzzles me. I'm like, no, but the, the Bible says something different, and I'm seeing something different. Amen. Not everyone read the Bible. You know, some people they own it, but they don't read it. And that's the truth. That's the <laughs> truth, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Once you start reading, it will. Yes. Once you start read, you'll get closer to God. That's what the Bible is for. It's yes. our guide, our blueprint yes. to take us to where we have to go. So when you don't read the Bible, you won't know the word, and you'll be further from God. Wow. Wow. Wash. Continue. Wash. You make you clean. Because remember, when you wash, you get clean. Mm -hmm. And he said, put away the evil of your doing. Mm -hmm. Meaning, put away the evil of your thinking. Mm -hmm. Put away the evil of the, the ways that you have. Yes. Put them away. Mm -hmm. Don't come before me with all of this mm -hmm. thinking. Don't come mm -hmm. before me with all this wicked, wicked evil thoughts. Blood on your hands. On your hands. And come before God. Amen. I like this. He's saying, don't come before <laughs> me. If you know so you're not clean, if you know so you're not gonna put away all these things. Don't come before me. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. So repentance is a must. And then this is the reason why a lot of us can't get no blessing. Mm. And this is the reason why, you know, we cry dearly and we ask God, God of mercy, and mercy can't come. Because okay. we don't want to do these things we don't want mm -hmm. to wash we don't want to put away the evil and all of that we want to continue to do the same thing mm -hmm. and he's saying no you can't have one foot in and one not foot out at all. you cannot serve two masters not at all the, you know um elijah said choose whom you will serve this day is it god are be all chose, amen. But you cannot, you can't start right, sister. You can't go to church today and go to Obiaman tomorrow. <laughs> it no work, <laughs> it no Minister work. Julie. You have part two set aside, Pastor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Pastor. <laughs> You can't come with one version. You have to come back with part two. <laughs> so I hope you start working on part two. <laughs> yes, Pastor. Because you're hitting in the right place. The, 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 that, this is why I told you not to say how you feel. But this is the reason why. Amen. You're, the message is hitting in the right place. Keep going. So God be the Glory. Amen. So in the book of Jeremiah, which is also another cross-reference scripture, the book of Jeremiah 3, verse 12, mm. it says, Go and proclaim these words towards the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel. 
says right. the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am married, said, said the Lord, mm -hmm. and I will not keep. He said, I will not keep anger forever. Mm. So God keep, if you notice the word he keep on saying, return. Turn. From your ways, the old ways. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Mm. Turn. Turn from your wicked deeds turn from your wicked ways turn from your evil thoughts turn hallelujah jesus. hallelujah jesus glory to jesus. god hallelujah jesus. hallelujah hallelujah hey hey hallelujah hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. thank jesus. you jesus hallelujah hallelujah jesus so if you know Notice in most of the scriptures, he's saying, Return, return, mm -hmm. turn, yes, give up, turn away from all these evil. Hallelujah! Jesus. No, no, is the time where we have to draw close. To God more than ever before because there's so much evil in the land. Now they're calling evil good, good and good. evil. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The only true and living God is the only one that can help us right now. No money, mm -hmm. no husband, no wife. No wife. No. no children, None. no friend, only God Himself. My God, I am telling you, we have to set our eyes on the prize. I'm telling you, I, 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 I tell myself, I say, is Jesus or nothing else right now for me? Amen. I think I've been through it too, too, too much. And, and and just get hurt and kick over there, box over there, and nothing but hurt and pain and 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 nothing. So I now I have decided to follow King Jesus till I die. Yes, Jesus. Is Jesus for me or nothing right mm. now? Mm, 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 mm. My God. Only him alone. I have nobody else but Jesus, but I have the best. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. at my job sometimes when I, my boss would say, Jillian, you know what? You have the, you have the best man. You have the best man. Mm -hmm. I say, yeah. She said, yeah. So you said he's your husband. Exactly. You said I am your husband. <laughs> the Bible says, you said I am your husband. She said, You have Jesus. I said, Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is well. No problem. He's always there. It no matter how much. Listen, let me tell you. When you're going through, you're going through. And when you sit down there, and you crying and you talking, nobody to go back and say, hey, not complain and complain. That Jesus <laughs> just right there listening, and at the same time, He's comforting you. Amen. Comforting Amen. you. Amen. He's our comforter. Hallelujah. He's our friend. He is our everything. Everything that we need is in Him. Amen. And I tell him, the Holy Spirit, I will wait on you. I'm not in no rush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will wait. Amen. I will wait, God. Amen. I will wait on you. Jesus. And I say, and God, if you say no, that's okay to cause you know. 
He knows you. He knows. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. My next cross-reference scripture is taken from Zechariah 8, verse 17. Mm -hmm. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Zechariah 8 and 17. 17. In Zechariah 8, verse 17. Mm -hmm. I got it. I'm going to start over. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false oath, for all these are things that I hate, says the Lord. Amen. So, oh, God hate evil. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, if you didn't know, now you know it. God hate evil. So you see, it pays to be good. And it pays to do good. And that's why Jesus tell us about the parable with the, the good Samaritan. It pays to do good. God hates evil. My God. Hallelujah. He hates evil. Psalm 103, verse 12. Verse 11 and 12. It says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards mm -hmm. them that fear him. We need the fear of God back. Amen. Because people no fear God no more. Nope. I am telling you. And why I know this? Notice how people dress these days going to church and don't care. <laughs> Do you have part two set aside for, yes. for, for this message? <laughs> That's my, that's all my, my concern is because you're, you're, you're hitting hard and you're going deep. Keep going. Keep on going. I'm here. I'm listening. <laughs> People Whew. go in church and don't care how they dress. And they sit there comfortable. But that's the next thing that tells you who is the head of that church. Amen. Because I'm telling you, if God is the head of that church, there is no way you can pass that door and go inside and sit down comfortable in any or anything. Nope. Mm -mm. So, so, you Hallelujah. see, in this time and season, we have to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give us discernment. This discernment is, is needed now. We need it more than ever before. And you can't get up and say, I'm going to go to this church tomorrow. I'm going to go to that church next week. Because every time you go, you pick up something else. A different spirit. And then you come home and, and problem in your house. Amen. Your ch children them start go left, right, and center. Everything start happen. And Say you start again. wonder what happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You pick up demons, mm -hmm. and then pe people say demon is not real. You sick. Amen. God is spirit, and because God is a spirit, we have to we have to worship in in, in, in spirit. spirit. And, and that spirit. tells us that demons are spirits. Amen. Amen. So how are you going to say there is no demon? You believe in a God, but you don't believe say demon real? Mm -hmm. Who's talking? The devil. Who's talking? Ty. <laughs> 
Who is talking, Pastor? <laughs> you said, God is a spirit. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. And if someone said God is not real, then whatever is being said has nothing to do with God. So it's the devil. They're saying that demons are not existing. Not real. Yes, it, demon doesn't exist. But when someone is speaking against the things of God, that's the devil himself speaking. In Amen. a different form, you know, they say the devil show up in all different colors yes. because they operate in different ways some people are saved but they will also allow the devil to use them like judas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he was he was an apostle right next to jesus yeah. he was the one who saved the mm -hmm. money but mm -hmm. at the same time he allowed the devil to use him and to the end he even kissed jesus yeah. on the cheek oh yes so the devil needs someone to carry out his dirty work and do that Judas avail himself. Amen. Yeah. So even when people said this is not real and that is not real, lack of knowledge caused people to perish. So you can't argue with someone who don't know. Solomon said, You 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 correct a fool and they will hate you. Yes. So there are some people that are not even qualified to hear a certain message. It they won't understand because their heart is not in the right place. Amen. Yes. So yes. go ahead. Yes, Pastor. So that's when the devil will speak because they don't believe they don't in the things of believe. God. So they are only doing just like Jezebel. She, mm -hmm. she was an evil queen, and all that she knew was evil. Jezebel didn't know that she was mm -hmm. evil. Mm -hmm. So she Jesus said, that I give her space to repent, yes. and she didn't repent. So she's going to die like a dog. And she did. And she died like a mm -hmm. dog. So we have to understand that if God himself didn't touch this person or this person refused to open their heart to receive and accept the truth, then they will allow the devil to continue to use them. It doesn't matter what position they are in. Even in the church, even oh. on the podium. Oh, yes. Because oh, yeah. Jezebel was teaching in church. Wow. Jezebel was, was a Bible he Pro said she was a prophetess. <laughs> yes, so she was teaching. Jesus said, I told them not to give Jezebel position. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. So Jezebel was contaminating the people. The church, she yeah. was teaching her own doctrine. That's what it is. Yes. So lack of knowledge caused people to perish. Amen. And we can't correct everyone. Mm -hmm. El Shaddai is not for everyone. We, no. we, we pray that people will come and receive. It's free, but a lot of people won't receive it because it's the truth. Yes. And they are in the dark. True. So this is just highlights. So I'm praying that you have part two. <laughs> Amen. Amen, Pastor. Are you, are you finished? You can take over. <laughs> <laughs> These are just highlights, Amen. you know. Amen. Yes. yes. So, so we um, were in Psalm 103, three, verse, verse 11 and 12. So now we're going to read 12. It says, As far as the east is from the west, so far had he removed our, our transgressions, transgressions from, from, us. from us. That's how far God removed our sins from us. From the east to the west. From the east, to the west. He, says, he says, as far as the east is from the west. That's how far. And, you know, growing up, um, you know, they have a little saying, they say, um, you know, me forgive you, you know, but me not forget it. That's not of God. No. Because <laughs> when God forgives us, he also wipe it. throw it into the sea of forget forgetfulness. forgetfulness. But we... mm. Amen. That's how you know the thoughts of man and the thoughts of God is too different. Mm -hmm. Because man say they cannot forget. But God says 
he forgets it. He, he, he flushed it. He threw it away. It was washed away, just like you wash away our sins. My God. Mm. He said, remember not the former things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Leave oh. that. We have to just leave the old things out of it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you. Hallelujah. In the yes, book Lord. of Second Samuel 7, verse 19, we see we are... King David. King David. You know, I like I like David, you know. I love him. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. In 19, it says, and his way, and this was, and this was yet a small thing mm -hmm. in thy sight. Mm -hmm. yep. O Lord God, but thou hast spoken also of thy servant's house for a great while to come. And is this the manner of man, O Lord God? David has said, God, me like a David, you think about. I don't deserve it. I, I don't deserve none of this, God. No, I don't. What you said, <laughs> you will remember my house as a sure house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That even when I'm gone, my children, that's the covenant. You see, David, he did, he did things, he sinned, but he always repent. Amen. Always repent. Amen. And he's not afraid to repent. In you know, you know, a matter of where, mm -hmm. he might spread out and repent. He was transparent before God. Yes. Yeah. He was not ashamed to say, Lord, forgive me. I repent. And that's the, that's, the, that's the concept we have to have. You know, we have to, like, don't care who is there, who is listening. You yeah. see your sin and you repent. You repent you don't and you cry. You have no your shame. Father. You ask yeah. your father, Lord, forgive me. Tears running down your face. You don't care who wants to see if your mascara wants to run off your eyelash, mm -hmm. wants to jump off, wants yes, to yes. It doesn't matter. You're repenting and asking your father to have mercy. You don't have to go in a, in a, in a, in a one like a secret place and I look a hiding and say, Lord, forgive me. If you have to shout right there, you mm -hmm. shout it out. Amen. Amen. And say, Lord, I have mercy. God, I have sinned against you. Amen. We have to be transparent. Yeah. That's the next thing. When we go through things, it's not for us to hide them. It's not for us to keep them and sugarcoat them yeah. and act like say, we also, we, we, we not sin. And we, we're, no. we're, we're holy and righteous without sin. And we're perfect. Like I, I can I can testify. I remember when I just got saved and come in and come in the church. You know, come in, nobody not teach you certain things. And I thought because growing up and seeing our um Christian Christianity was you know this religion thing. Yes. So you see religion is not a good thing. Because it's it division. cause problem. So you see, you have to have a relationship with God, with, with the Holy Spirit for yourself. Because <laughs> you see, when you don't have no relationship, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this religion thing mess you up. Yeah. So you know, I come into the church and I didn't have no guidance, and you know, the, the, I, a woman know me, I go after. Right. And I thought that. I was supposed to be so prim and so proper. <laughs> right. You know, I'm supposed to be so holy and thou. And, you know, when me see the sinners, them over there, so me, mm -mm, me no right. want to go near them, me no want to touch them, me no have nothing to do with them. Me look them up and down. And I'm telling you, and I can tell you, I get a whooping for that. 
Amen. And I have to repent and ask God for forgiveness. And may I tell you, may get it in the worst oh, yeah. beating. May get it in a worse way. I'm telling you. So you say no, I learned to appreciate people. Mm -hmm. I don't look at people like how oh, I used to. Amen. No. Maturity. I don't, I don't do that no more. It's called maturity. I'm telling you, Pastor, people come and then touch me. No. <laughs> How you were raised. Yes. yes. You understand? So yeah. I pay the price. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, sisters and brothers, tonight, if you are like that, change. Because mm -hmm. it is not good. No. It is not, not godly. Good. It is not of God. That is the enemy setting you up for a fall. Yep. Because he knows that that is not of God. Mm -hmm. Religion. John is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. And that is the thing that is that is in the church and causing problem. Amen. Religion. We don't need religion. We need relationship. Amen. Relationship we need. That's Amen. what we need, not religion. Amen. Hallelujah. How are we gonna get a relationship? You have to read your word, study your word, fast, prayer. This is what, what you have to do. Amen. You can't get a relationship by just sitting cute. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. No. Looks don't, don't work that relationship way. with God. No. No. You have to read your word, study the word. The Bible tells us to study the word, study to show thyself, approve a word, man, God, rightly yeah. dividing the word of truth. Without being ashamed, right? Oh, we need the word. That's the only thing. Can, you know, we need the word, the word to wash us wash us and cleanse us, make us whole, make us clean. Because sometimes we speak some things we're not supposed to, and because lack a word, yeah. we don't study the word. So you just, just go about your business and say anything that comes out of your mouth, and it's not so. Amen. Amen. Glory, to God. Glory be to God. So David was saying, God, I mean, look at David, you talk about this thing about God. <laughs> Amen. You're going to make me a sure house? Yep. We have to repent. We have to turn. We have to go. We have to turn away from those things that gets us in trouble with God. Mm -hmm. Turn from mm -hmm. our evil ways. Turn from them. Return to God with a whole heart. Don't lean unto your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge, acknowledge him. God. Acknowledge him and he will direct you. God's way is for us to go the right way. Yes. He wants so he wants to direct us. Because the Bible tells us that. The plans that he has for us, they are good plans. Uh -huh. They are not uh -huh. bad plans. They are not thoughts for evil, Both but they are for good. good. So when we look and we see will life turn out some way, you know, um, there's also a scripture that says, God knows your every move. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes... We make some choices, we make some decisions, and then now we say, oh, that was a mistake. We make a mistake. But God knows he was going to make that mistake. Yeah. He knows. Nothing is a secret. 
God know everything before you even do it. What an awesome God he is. Jesus. What an amazing God he is. That he know us before we were formed no. in our mother's, mother's womb. He knows even the very strand of hair that is up on our head. Every strand. When you think about the strand of hair that is up on your head. Yes. Can you count them? No. no. Can you count them? No. no. But God knows Every how many strand of hair is on your head. He knows how many strand of hair is on my head. Even when you comb it and it come out in the comb, he know how much strand. Yep. That's the God we serve. Mm -hmm. He's a merciful God. Yeah. And he wants to show us mercy. He wants us to change Not our ways. Merited favor. Grace is love that is unconditional. The peace that surpasses all understanding. understanding. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. He wants all of us, all of that for us. Jesus. But when we live in sin and we do not repent, we can't get all of that. No. We can't, no. can't have none of that. No. 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 So we, we have to turn. Jesus. We have to turn. Turn. My brothers and turn. sisters, tonight, I am saying, Turn. 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 Turn from Turn. your ways. Turn. Forsake the old ways. The Bible says, put off the old man. Yes. Put on the new, new man. Put on the it new man. Behold, all things are gone, are passed away. Behold, all things becomes new. We want to put on the new man. Mm -hmm. We want to walk in the admission of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Say, ba, 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 shake mm, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory Jesus. be to God. Baba, baba, ko, Thank, you, Jesus. Mm, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty. God. I'm just gonna read, read the commentary and, and and just to let you know what the commentary says. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It says, if we look up to heaven, we find God's counsel there high and transcendent. His thoughts and ways, his thoughts and ways infinitely Amen. above Amen. our the yes. wicked are urged to forsake their evil ways yes. and thoughts and to bring their ways and thoughts to comply with his. For say he, my thoughts and ways are not as yours. Mm -hmm. Yours are conversant only about things beneath. My God. But Mine are above, Jesus. as the heaven is high above the earth. And if you would approve yourselves through Jesus. penitent, your, yours must be so too. So that Amen. is what God wants us to be. Yes. Hallelujah. Birth and God. yours affections must be set on things um, above, above and not, and not on the earth. Mm -hmm. mm. It says sinners may be ready to fear that God will not be reconciled to them. And we yes, know that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Because they could not find in their hearts to be reconciled to one who should have so basely and so frequently offend them. But Jesus. says God, my thoughts in this matter are not as yours, but as far above them as heaven is above the earth. Glory mm. to God. We think, we think God opt to take offense and backward to forgive. Mm? Mm -hmm. That 
if he forgives once, he will not forgive a second time. That's what a lot of people think. Mm -hmm. When God forgives them one time, that, he now go do the second time. And that is a lie. Hallelujah. It says, Peter thought it a great deal to forgive seven times. Yes. Right? right? Amen. Seven times Peter said, but in the book of Matthew 18, 21, it says, But God meets returning sinners with pardoning mercy. We forgive and cannot forget. That is we, humans. We forgive, but we can't forget. <laughs> there is no such thing. That is a lie from the pit of hell. But oh when God. God forgives sins, he remembers it no more. More. Because it's in the sea of forgetfulness. Yes, so brothers Peter. and sisters, tonight you hear it. Amen. When we say, we forgive you, but we can't forget it. Hey. It's a lie from the pit of hell. That is not godly. You forgive and you forget just like your father. Forgive and forget. Amen. And you can't want God forgive you and you don't want to forgive nobody. You have to first forgive. Yes. Forgive and he will forgive you. Forgive us our trespass as we forgive those the who trespass, trespass against trespass. us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be Hallelujah. to God. We Hallelujah. just want to give God thanks and praise for this evening. Jesus. For God be all oh, the glory, yes, all the Lord. honor, and all the praise. And I hear you have it. That the people, God's children, was blessed Amen. from this message, this word, this scripture. God wants us to repent. Amen. And turn Jesus. from yes. our wicked ways, our evil thoughts, mm -hmm. our evil doings, you, and return back to Him. Yes. Glory yes. be to God. God bless you, my sisters and brothers. God bless Amen. you, Minister God Julia. bless you, Pastor. Bless. And it was a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you, and I pray your strength. That every virtue that has left you, I pray that it will be doubled. I pray you receive double portion upon all that you have lost. I am looking, I wrote everything down and I'm looking at it before me. And you didn't just do Bible study, you preach a whole sermon. And one of the things I love about what you did, you broke down the scriptures for us to understand. You know, I like to listen. I have good listening ears. Yeah. And I enjoy a great Bible study. And I thank God that you didn't even exclude yourself. You remind us that even you was very extra and uppity and think that you're better than those that are not saved. But no, the Bible reminds us about things that you are saying that you did. You repent. So Lord, Amen. we thank you for her life. Amen. You have to be an example. Yes. You have to be a walking testimony. Amen. You have to. So we thank God for your transparency. Oh, Jesus. Lord, remember her and her family this hour. She took the time to come and minister the word to us. And we thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing in her life. We pray strength upon her life. And she will never lack any good thing. Lord, have your way in her home. Let it be well. Let it be well with the children. Let it be well with those who... She's working among the people that her life is affecting. My God, we decree and we declare over her life that she will be able to say it is well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Woman of God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And we will see you next week. <laughs> 
we will see you maybe not wednesday coming but the following wednesday amen, amen. which is somewhere around the 15th and i have an announcement to make also about this month's fasting our fasting will be towards the end of the month it mm -hmm. won't be on the 15th i will release a date before the week is out when our fasting begin woman of god thank you and god bless you may you live long to do god's work amen god amen. bless you amen. you see it is a pleasure and it's an honor to be in the it's a privilege and it's an honor to be in the presence of god number one she said god is calling his people to repent god is calling his people to repent number two she went into the word and she said the ways of man is wicked and the ways of god is pure she even declared that whom the lord loved he chased the bible said god deal with us as his own sons hebrews chapter 12. she went into isaiah chapter 1. wanted god to wash us to clean Clean us up out of our sinful ways. She declared Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12, for us to turn away from sin. Isaiah chapter 54, where he said, I am your husband, my God. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 17, he said, Don't let none of you imagine evil in your heart against your neighbor. Neighbor. Psalm 103 verse 11 For as high as the heaven is above the earth So great is his mercy towards us He removed our transgression from us Second Samuel chapter 7 and 19 David was transparent before God God remembered David And he remembered his household for a great while If you want us to be reminded that we should put on the new man and remember all things are become new so this evening we're going to pray and ask God to vindicate us this evening we're going to pray to uh, and ask God oh Lord vindicate us and this is from I think it's the book of Psalm chapter 26 yeah Psalms chapter 26 David was asking God to remember him to declare him innocent we're asking god to vindicate us many of us we are on trial in the realms of the spirit many of us we are we are waiting for that phone call we are waiting for that letter in the mail we are waiting for that position the promotion we are waiting to start school to go back to school some of us we are waiting on so many things but one of the most important things we need to do is repent and god will vindicate us we have to repent in order for god to vindicate us we have to repent in order by the push in order for him to vindicate us to show us unmerited favor to show us to deliver us to set us straight in the book of Samuel. Samuel was upset because he anointed Saul to be king and Saul failed God. So Samuel was upset. God said, Saul, why are you upset? I have sought out a man. His name is David. So David, God chose David to replace Saul. So this evening, we're going to ask God to sort us out. This evening, we're going to ask God to sort us out. We need to be sorted out. Many of us, we are going around puffed up. We need to be sorted out the way God sought out David. God, God is preparing us for a position that we're not qualified for. And that is called vindication. He will give you victory. He will declare you innocent. 
he want to wipe our slate clean so he want us to repent so he can set us straight so he can sort us out i don't know what you did i don't know what you're waiting for but i ask you now i beseech you by the mercies of god to open your mouth and ask god to sort you out only he can do it. All promotion come from God. Promotion don't come from man. We don't get promoted because of our looks. Our looks cannot save us. It comes from God. So open up your mouth and ask God this hour to sort you out, to set you straight, to fix you in order, to set you in alignment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my God. We need to be sorted out. Some of us, we have been waiting forever and nothing is happening. All we get is just empty promises. People are making promises to us here and there and everywhere. People, they come and they, they use us. They abuse us. We, are we have been taken for granted. It's time for us to be sorted out. It's time for us to get situated. My God, we decree and we declare it done in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. You know, Minister Julian, God bless you. The, the, the Lord said that this message that you brought forth, it's a deliverance message. Because while you were speaking I saw myself in you. You know, you, you, you sound like me a little bit. And, and I thank God for this message. You know, I thank God. This is, what, this is what God will do and shame the devil. This is what God will do to shame the devil. Amen. So I'm here to let you know, people of God, we give him honor and praise for what he is doing. I can't do it by myself. And I know God already sent people who are capable to the ministry to do the work. I can't do it alone. We are still praying for the church that is being built in Jamaica for the Lord to send honest people to work in the church. People with integrity. I use that word. People with integrity to do the work of God. And this is our prayer. We know he will do it. We know he will do it. We know there is nothing impossible with God. Amen. Glory be to God. My God. Hallelujah. Sister Lorraine, the Lord is about to surprise you. The Lord is about to surprise you. Great things are about to come your way. God is about to surprise you. And that's all I can say. Once again, this has been our Bible study. And uh, it is well. My spirit was blessed. I felt like I was in church. People of God, listen, continue to pray for El Shaddai. Amen? Continue to pray for El Shaddai. God is doing marvelous things in El Shaddai. So pray for us while we continue to, yes, while we continue to be obedient to God. Mm -hmm. Pray for us while we continue to move in obedience, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are here on this platform and you have a prayer request, I'm encouraging you to write it on a piece of paper. Remember our covenant. If you are not one of our covenant partners and you have a prayer request, Write it down on a piece of paper and pray over it. I'll tell you what to do as the Lord lead me. But write down your prayer request. Don't send it to me. 
you can go back and watch. Write down your prayer request. Don't send it to me. Amen? Just write it down. I will give you instructions as the Lord leads. Glory to God. And, and I'm, I'm thankful, you know, when you pray, believe in your prayers and you'll get answers. Whenever you pray, just believe. Yes, my son, God is doing great things here with Israel. We want people that will come and speak the truth. And at the same time, to practice what they preach. So, without further ado, my time is up. I have to go. God bless you all. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Now, remember, people of God, listen, before I go, we are still continuing our covenant. This is what God said. Don't stop. So we will continue with the covenant. Glory be to God. We will continue with our covenant. So to all covenant partners, it's not going to end in February. We will continue. Glory be to God. We will continue until God says stop. You need your breakthrough. You need your blessings. Amen. If, if you are not a covenant partner and you have a prayer request, Write it down. I will give you instructions as the Lord leads. Amen. It is well. My time is up. I'm losing my voice. My time is up. I have to go. Have a wonderful evening.